Everyone against autism speaks. Shut your goddamn mouth! You are autistic and for self-advocacy? Well, the only one preventing you from advocating yourself is yourself, you goddamn fuck! If you are high-functioning, I have bad news for you. Autism Speaks is not going to help you. And you know why? Because you're goddamn high-functioning and you don't need the fucking help! Just because you're autistic doesn't mean you own autism and the entire autistic experience. Many autistic children are not able to communicate like you. And their parents are expected to be doing everything right for their child in a situation which is completely counterintuitive. Do you think it's fun having a child who doesn't speak? who won't sleep normal, has potty training issues, and can't integrate with family and friends in normal social affairs? These parents need resources like Autism Speaks. But more, how has Autism Speaks tangibly injured you? Autism Speaks doesn't mandate what people should do or say. And autistic rights are not being denied by Autism Speaks. And Autism Speaks is not obligated to give money to anyone. People who donate can decide for themselves if they want to help spread awareness. And worst of all, I bet my two nuts, my two sweet goddamn nuts, that none of you high-functioning autistics Against Autism Speaks, have an answer on how to get lower-functioning, nonverbal autistic children to speak and communicate like you can. In fact, I bet some of you who are against Autism Speaks might even be fake autistics, or what I like to call a fartistic. You seek to get sympathy from people and make up excuses why you can't do things when it's your own goddamn fault. But even if you were lower mid-functioning and can communicate now for yourself, what the fuck does that have to do with the families of children who need the help now? So, shut your goddamn selfish mouth and get the fuck out of the way! And let the people who are trying to help the situation help! You fucking son of a 